Welcome to Made Simple. Today we're just going to be going over 10 easy, simple steps into making your Excel spreadsheets look more professional. Um, whether you're presenting in front of a class or for some sort of business presentation or just sending a, an Excel file over email in a business setting, um, these 10 tips will really help you out and make your, your spreadsheets look a little bit nicer and easier to understand and impress, um, hopefully, your, your teacher or boss or whoever it may be. All right, so before we begin, make sure you subscribe, like always, smash that like button. It really helps with the YouTube algorithms, and I would really appreciate that. All right, so tip number one, make sure that you're hiding your data and calculations. And so, uh, for example, let's just say we have this big data set. You wouldn't want to present this because there's just a bunch of numbers. You got to kind of like look at it, and it's just kind of doesn't make a lot of sense. But to you, it does. But to the person you're presenting this information, it may not. So here we have product price. Um, so this is just products one through 30 and the different prices they sell at and the number of sales you've made on each project. And then we did a formula here, just taking the price times the amount of sales. And then we did a sum of all those sales to get the total sales here. So let's say for the spreadsheet, um, your boss or whoever wants to know the total sales. So you wouldn't just display this and be like, oh yeah, it was 50,508. Um, to be more professional, you're gonna wanna create a new sheet and then maybe um, be more descriptive. And, you know, So if you're sending this over email, this way you don't have to explain it and they just, they just know right away. Um, so total sales. And instead of typing that number in, um, which brings me to step number two, you're gonna wanna input that cell. Right, so that way if this changes, your summary sheet will also change. And we're just gonna format that, make it look nice. So there's no way that if you look at this, you're gonna be confused, right? So that, that was kind of step number two here. Uh, don't hard code um, your inputs or your cells, right? So here, instead of typing in 50,509, again, make sure you're referencing that cell. All right, step number three, uh, use borders. Um, it's kind of, a, you know, here's the border function. You can kind of play with it how you want. Maybe you want to just do all borders here and then put a black box around this, or maybe you want a black box, you know, a thicker border around both of them. Um, and just kind of mess around with it to make it look, you know, like, hey, this is where that's at, and it just kind of contains it a little bit better for presentation purposes. All right, step number four, uh, you wanna make sure that you're avo you avoid scrolling um, on when you're presenting data, right? So for example, here, this would be a bad example because you have to scroll if you wanna see um, step, if you wanna see uh, product 30, you're gonna have to scroll. And a way to fix the scrolling issue, for example, in this case, um, let's just say that we wanna create um, one simple way, let's let's just make a drop down list here. Um, and our source will be products one through thirty. We'll hit OK. So that way in this drop down list you can select product one through thirty. Um, and let's say we want to know the price, sales, and the total for that particular product. Um, so we could do price, sales, and the total right here and we could do a simple V lookup. Um, we're gonna wanna look up that value in the table array here. Um, and then we're gonna want to, the column index for price is one and then we're gonna wanna do false, sorry, is two. Um, and then sales, we can, as long as we lock this, we can spread this over, but instead we're gonna wanna change this number to three and this number to four, all right? So then we go look at 23, we're looking at 134.48, we sold 11 at 1,479, and there we have that. So that way, the person that has a spreadsheet, instead of having to scroll, especially if you have a larger amount of data than this, they can just go ahead, search here, and it'll change, right? All right, 
Step number five, remove the grid lines. Um, sometimes grid lines can make it a little bit confusing and very spreadsheet-y, right? And, you know, it's, it's sometimes a little bit more complicated to read. So just going up to view here, remove grid lines, and there you go. And we'll follow our, our previous step. We're going to want to maybe merge this, add a border here. Um, we're going to want to do um, all borders and then another another dark one around there, right? And so there, um, we just change this input um, and then this will change, right? And that way we avoid scrolling. It looks a little bit more professional than this. Um, all right, step number six, get rid of unnecessary decimals. Um, so for in this case, um, we're going to want to, let's say, well, we need to, we need to first change this into currency to kind of give it, but we don't really care that there's 28 cents associated with this or 24 cents with that. So we're just going to go ahead and remove those decimals and it cleans it up a little bit nicer, um, more presentable and less meticulous. All right, step number seven, well, tip number seven, um, make sure you have consistent cell alignment and your cells are just aligned properly. Um, so for in this case, we'll just go ahead and center everything, make it look a little bit better. I mean, if you had this one to the right and this one to the left, this one to the, sorry, this one to the left and that one to the right, had these centered and maybe you had that like that, you know, that just doesn't look as professional. So making sure everything is, is centered, even these ones, um, and it looks a little bit better that way. S tip number eight, clearly show inputs and outputs. And what that means is make sure you indicate if you're sending this spreadsheet to someone, which cells they can manipulate and which cells they can't. Um, so a simple way, maybe just highlight that yellow. Um, and we're going to actually fix this up a little bit. We're just going to say... Um, we're going to say, we're just going to label this, uh, oops, we'll just say product, um, and we'll go ahead and merge that, go ahead and fix the border on this, center that to be consistent, and we'll make both that yellow. So that way it's kind of more noticeable that, hey, like this is in yellow, product 27, well, why? I know there's 30 products, and then, oh, there's a drop down list here. You know, it makes it a little bit more presentable, right? All right, step number nine, add color. Um, so maybe you want to change this background like a little, like a light green, go change this back to yellow. Um, and you could even put a key up here, be like yellow um, equals changeable, right? Or something like that, you know, just to, just to make it known, right? I mean, just kind of an idea. This isn't a perfect spreadsheet, obviously, but just kind of a better idea of how to make things look a little bit more professional here. Maybe we're going to bold this, uh, bold that, and we're going to want to change this color to um, a darker green, or no, let's go with a like a blue. Um, we'll go ahead, bold these, turn that to a blue. Um, go ahead and make a thick border there. And just add some color. Um, that way it's, you know, it's easier for them to kind of, you know, colors often easily, it, it just makes it look better and it makes it more, more readable um, for the user. All right. And the final and last step, pretty common sense, but check for typos and other errors, right? Um, and you can simply go here. A lot of people don't know this, but Excel does have a spell check. You just click here and it looks like we didn't spell anything wrong. Thank goodness. Um, and just kind of go through everything again. Uh, maybe I want to make that capital. Maybe um, I want to like move this around, make it look a little bit better. Um, go ahead and change this, widen that. And just kind of play around with it and make it look more professional, right? Maybe we want to get rid of this row, make that a little closer. Um, and just make sure you're utilizing this space. If you don't need all this space, maybe you're just going to want to zoom in. Zoom in and leave it like this, right? There's nothing wrong with that. So then when the person opens it, they're like, oh, boom, look, I have the information available here. Instead of looking at all of this and being like, okay, uh, 
product. Oh, okay, so he means product, price. Okay, yeah, so and try to, instead of trying to figure this out, it makes it super simple. All right, these are just 10 basic tips on making your spreadsheets look more professional and presentable. By no means are they um, the best you can do. Just make sure you're messing around with it and follow these 10 steps and, and I guarantee you it will improve rather than deprove <laughs> your, um, your spreadsheets. Um, so again, thank you for watching. Please subscribe, smash that like button. It would really help me out and have a great day. Bye.